Hi guys and welcome to The Bakeress. Hope everyone's having a fantastic week. Um, just wanna say a quick thanks to all those that tried my last recipe, the blueberry and lemon crumb slices. Thank you for sending me the pictures through. Your bakes look amazing and some of you are making them better than mine and that's not even fair, so stop it. Anyway, today I'm gonna teach you how to make a lovely breakfast pudding. It's my pistachio and raspberry croissant pudding. Now, what we do with this recipe is we prepare it the day before, you can put it in the fridge, and then you bake it the next day, so it's all ready for you. It's an excellent one to bake for um, a Sunday brunch, because most people wake up late on a Sunday, so it'd be great for that. Um, have the family over for breakfast, why not? It's amazing. So, what we're gonna start doing is, we're gonna cut these croissants, just regular croissants lengthways. Hey, I know, you can even use the chocolate croissants, the pain au chocolat, and they'd be really nice with this as well. So yeah, you can get those instead of regular croissant, or you can be regular like me, and keep it simple. So cut them lengthways, about three slices each croissant. If they're the big ones, then maybe use four of them, but these are not so big. So three will do. Um, once we've chopped them, we are going to place them in an oven-proof dish. Before we place anything in here, guys, we're just going to grease our oven-proof dish. And then we start placing our chopped croissants in there, overlapping. So we get some crispy bits and some bits completely soaked in the custard mixture. And that way we can get a bit of texture going in the pudding. Once we're done with that, put that on the side. We're going to start mixing our custard mixture. So that, we need four eggs. Try and use free range eggs, guys, large ones in this recipe. And then into that, we're gonna put our brown sugar, our caster sugar, and some salt. What we're gonna do that is grab the largest whisk you have, because that's the only whisk I have, and whisk all those lovely ingredients together. Oh, my brown sugar seems to be a bit... <laughs> this is so unelegant. Okay. We seem to have broken it. A little tip, guys, when you have brown sugar, keep it covered. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll solidify like mine just did. Once that's mixed, Misked, misked. Once that's misked, <laughs> add your cream and your whole milk. You can use milk alternative, guys, and vanilla. So once the milk and cream has combined into the rest of the ingredients, guys, what we're going to do is grab your croissant dish and pour this lovely mixture all over. So it soaks it all up. It's gonna be beautiful tomorrow, I promise you. But it does need that time to soak it up. Okay, once that's done, grab your raspberries and just kind of pocket them in between the layers of croissants. See, there's already a few healthy ingredients in here. Milk and raspberries. And we're gonna add some <laughs> pistachios. <laughs> there you go. If this isn't for breakfast, when's it for, hey? Now, to be fair, you can actually have it for dessert or lunch or anything. I just said dessert because it's just a great way of starting the day. <laughs> and your family might actually wake up for breakfast if you're telling them you're making this. I would. If someone told me that I'm making pistachio and raspberry pudding for breakfast, I'd wake up extra early, making sure I don't miss it. That's what I want for breakfast. Right, once we've done that, grab your chocolate chips. I've got chocolate chunks here, but absolutely chocolate chips will be fine. Um, dark or milk, I've got sort of 60% um, here. 
I grabbed a chocolate bar and just chopped it up so we've got big chunks of chocolate rather than little drops. Yeah, look at that, it looks beautiful. So, we're gonna leave this overnight, cover it with cling film and place it in the fridge. I'm gonna go and do that. So here's one I prepared yesterday and left it in the fridge overnight. It's all soaked up, the whole milk and the cinnamon nutmeg, it's gonna taste beautiful. What we're gonna do before we add this in the oven is sprinkle this lovely cinnamon sugar all over it. I love cinnamon and it goes so well with the raspberries and chocolate and pistachio. Once that's done, we're ready for the oven. Guys, this has had about half an hour in the oven and we're gonna slice it up now. Before that, don't forget to sprinkle your roasted pistachios on top. I just want you to have a look at this close up because just the colors, it looks absolutely beautiful, honestly, and smells divine. The nutmeg, the cinnamon, it's just driving me crazy. Onto that, we're just gonna pour a slight chocolate drizzle. Because why not? Let's get tucking. Wowzers. Wow. Look at that, guys. I'm gonna add a little bit of creme fraiche onto this, only because I'm extra. Some raspberries to finish it off. Now it's time to try it. I can't tell you how excited I am, guys. Guys, if you don't make this in the morning, what's the point of you waking up? Just forget it, stay in bed all day. Trust me, try this recipe. You're gonna thank me for it. So yeah, I bet I get loads of thank you messages for this recipe because it's pure morning comfort. From my home to yours with lots of love. Please try it, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe because I've got so many more exciting recipes coming up, guys. Lots of love. Bye.